Okay, and for this watercolor flower demonstration, we'll be creating these small petaled flowers. Very, very pretty and painterly. And to begin, you're going to wet your brush, of course, load it up with paint. Keep a pointy tip to your paintbrush while you're doing this. You'll be using that pointy tip right now. You're just going to carefully make three dots in a triangular formation close together but not touching. Then clean your brush completely. Now, you don't want it soaking wet, but just wet enough. With a wet brush, I'm going to use that pointy tip again. Barely touch that dot and wiggle. So I made a dot and now I'm wetting my brush and wiggling out to get this petal out and just let it drag out and let the paint sort of flow into that wet spot you made. I'm doing the same thing with this one. I wet my brush again, wiggle it out and let the paint flow. And wherever you lay the water down is how that petal will form. So I have three now, I wanna add two more. I like to have an odd number of petals. Sometimes I'll add the sixth petal, but usually I just stick with five. So I just make two more dots in between some of the petals that I already have there. Again, I wet my brush, clean my brush, barely touch and wiggle. And if sometimes like this one, you'll see that it's really, really light, I'll grab another dot of paint and then I'll just clean my brush again while it's wet and fix that so it's not too much. So now I just have water on my brush again and I'm making that petal bigger with just water so that the paint flows into that spot. You'll notice I've been turning my paper as I go because it's easier for me. I find that I'm always keeping the point of the brush aiming the same direction and I'm always dragging the brush toward my body while I wiggle, I find that's easier for me. So give it a try, but do what works best for you. Sorry, I bumped the camera. <laughs> so I'm just cleaning that edge up. Resist the urge to touch these too much. Let the paint sort of flow naturally into the water um, and that'll create sort of the most natural organic looking flower. The more you mess with it, the worse it gets typically. You tend to overwork things when we work with watercolor. And then at the end, I like to try this out sometimes. I'm just dotting in some yellow with the tip of that paintbrush right in the middle, a couple of little dots, and I'll let that flow naturally into some of those petals and uh, create a little texture in the center of my flower. So here I go with a second flower, three dots, triangle form, clean and wet my brush, wiggle, wiggle. I try not to let it touch my other flower right there so they don't bleed together, but if they do, no big deal. Two more dots for two more wiggly petals. I made that one a little wider on purpose to give a little more variety. You don't want them all like little stick thin petals. And there you go. And for this one, I'm dotting in a couple of purple dots. I try to pick colors that go nice together, that are close together on the color wheel, and that blend well.